So getting into this episode of GH, um, I don't know what Curtis's issues are, but he need to he need to collect himself because I was not feeling his attitude towards Jordan today, and I'm glad Jordan checked him because he needed to be checked. Um, he was flipping out for no reason, acting like a little a little Mitch, like a little woman, worse than a female, with his little attitude and temper tantrum, mad because she won't unseal records about his father's arrest she legally can't do that and she told him like she just got back to work you know after being gone for a while you know and she's not trying to do nothing that, you know and after everything that happened with cyrus and all that mess she's not about to do nothing that's gonna jeopardize her job again you know that almost could have ended her career you know luckily for her it didn't and laura you know kept her on and she's not about to do something that's going to jeopardize that again. I can't blame her, you know. Um, I don't blame her one iota. At the end of the day, you got to go through the proper proper procedures when you want to unseal somebody's arrest record. You want to unseal it? Get a court order and unseal it. She ain't about to play with her job like that, and I don't blame her. And he really tried to sit there talking about, oh, after all you put me through? I looked at him and said, no, you didn't. <laughs> Listen. Did she keep secrets from him throughout the marriage, like towards the latter end of the marriage with the Cyrus mess? Yes, she did. She was wrong for that because and I say she was wrong partly because, yeah, it was her job, you know, and technically she can't really tell him about the details of her cases and stuff, which is true because she can't. But the Cyrus mess was personal that, you know, jeopardized their family you know that was a potential danger to their family so i felt like she should have included him on that a bit to an extent was she wrong for that part yeah but he talks as if their whole marriage jordan gave him issues their whole marriage and it wasn't even like that you know what i'm saying like yeah she had her faults but so did he like you knew what kind of woman you married you knew you married a police commissioner and stuff and she can't tell you everything about her cases because she can't that's like portia portia is a doctor she can't tell him about her patients due to HIPAA laws. She can't. Is he going to get mad at her when she come home and he be like, oh, so what about this? Why was he at the hospital? What was... She can't tell you that. Same way Jordan can't tell you stuff. You going to get mad at her too? You know, he got to understand that. Stop being a little baby throwing a temper tantrum and then trying to throw it in her face because she told him, first of all, the only reason she unsealed records the first time to Cyrus was because she was being blackmailed to do it. He was, he kidnapped her son. She had to. And he tried to flip that around on her. Told about some, oh, so T because TJ's family, you did it for him because that's family. But since I'm not family anymore, that's her child. She pushed that boy out of her JJ. That's different. And she's not saying that Curtis is not her family anymore, even though they're not together anymore. He's always still going to be a part of the family. I just couldn't believe how he was acting. I just could not believe it. And I'm glad she didn't take it from him. I wouldn't have either. And I'm glad she didn't unseal them records. Good for her. Um, so anyway, moving on from that, Willow and Michael um finally got together and whatnot. Willow was so happy that Harmony was there for her and whatnot, um, being the mother that Willow always wanted her to be. And she's wondering, like, what was Willow's motivation? I mean, what was Harmony's motivation for turning into that kind of mom? Because she hasn't been that kind of mom to Willow probably her whole life. And she was happy that she she had a mother who was attentive, who was there for her, because she never really had that. If only Willow knew. <laughs> if only Willow knew. Um, so of course her and Michael gotta put their Paris trip on hold because now he got a trial coming up for punching that reporter. So he can't leave town now. I wonder how Willow gonna take it when she find out that Harmony not her mama. She, I know she's going to be pissed. I know that, but I can't wait to see the emotion on her face when that pop up. Because um, I know it's going to be a hot mess. So anyway, moving on from that, Harmony went to Alexis to get her opinion and her advice about the Nina situation. About Nina approaching her to help her get visitation with Wiley and stuff like that. I so loved what Alexis told her because what Alexis said is something I would have said. Stay out of it. Simple as that. Don't get involved in it. Um, she told her, stay out of it. And of course, Harmony sitting there talking about, oh, that's not, it's not that simple. It's not that easy. 
Um, like she talking about, it, it's not that easy to stay out of it. That's the problem with harmony. Situations really are that easy. Most situations, well, some situations, they really are easy to stay out of trouble. You know what I'm saying? It, the problem with harmony is she always chooses the wrong instead of the right, and that's the problem. You know what I mean? She's on good terms with Willow. You know, Willow's at the, you know, singing her praises right now to Michael. So her seeing Wiley would not be a problem. Her getting involved with Nina and joining in on this potential lawsuit uh, for visitation and stuff, that's going to be a problem. It's just going to drive a wedge between you. That's all it's going to do. And y'all are y'all are at the point of repairing your relationship. Why do this? You know, and the last thing she needs is for all this to come out in court because, you know, things have a way of coming out, especially in public places. So now if it comes out that she's not really Willow's mother, then your whole case is going to be tamed. Because you don't even have, a, you know, a right at that point. Because um, everything Harmony has done, paperwork-wise, all that stuff for Willow has been fraudulent. So you wouldn't even have a case to stand on. And it could tank Nina's case if they go in on this thing together and this comes out. It's going to blow the whole case up. So I think she needs to listen to uh, Alexis and stay out of this. Like, if you're in good terms with your daughter... And she's willing to allow you to see him. What would you need to go in with Nina for to see him when you pretty much have access? Like, that would be a fool's move. So, of course, you know, she talking about this woe is me because Alexis brought up the fact that, you know, TJ and Molly are moving out. And she going to miss them or whatever. And I feel like Alexis was doing too much because she found out that Harmony is still living out of a motel. So she offered to help her with a security deposit and stuff. I said, Alexis, no. You are not giving her no money. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. Um, then she's sitting there talking about, well, you could just move in my house and save up some money and stuff. No, we're not doing that either. Like, Alexis is doing too much. Like, this is that stuff Sean was talking about. Like, <laughs> she's too nice. Like, her and Harmony just became friends. And with Harmony's past, I could see why. And she's still doing the same stupid stuff. You know, now she mixed up with Ryan and all this stuff. Mm -mm, nope. If I was Alexis, I wouldn't go there. I would not help her. It's something about Harmony that always has to pick up the bad. It's like she she tries to be good, but it doesn't last long. It's like she always has to do some foolishness. Like, no. Absolutely not. So, anyway, moving on from that, Nina and Sonny. Um, Nina really irks my soul sometimes because she sit there talking about some oh. You know, I don't want to get you involved. He's already involved. You already got him involved. The moment you stepped over to his penthouse that day asking him, well, telling him about you going for visitation and stuff like that. That's when you got him involved. It's a little too late to tell somebody, oh, I don't want to get you involved. That's what Nina does. She says one thing, but she does a whole nother. Like, if you didn't want Sonny involved, you would have never went to him in the first place about this. You know, and then you keep asking him, oh, were you able to talk to Michael? Were you, you're, you're getting him involved. That's, you're doing what you just said that you didn't want to do. And you're doing it, ding bat. Um, cause Sonny at this point basically said it's gonna come to a point where if this thing goes to court, he's gonna have to pick a side. He's in the middle, and she told me, "Oh, I don't want you to pick a side. I, I don't expect you to pick my side." He basically kind of did in Michael's eyes because the moment Sonny went over to the quarter mains to defend Nina to Michael and to talk on her behalf about getting visitation. To Michael, he saw that as him picking a side. That's how Michael sees it. He already feels like Sonny picked a side. Um, you know, it's, it's going to get messy. This whole thing is going to get messy. I Listen, she still need to verify that she's, in fact, that boy's grandmother. Because they never did the DNA test. Like, she never did the DNA. And her behavior is, you know not something that you would want around your child. So I think that's why I said the only way to work this out, because like Diane told them, don't go to court. That's the last thing you want, you know, and I think that's good for both parties. I don't think they need to go to court. I think they need to mediate and figure out a common ground. And I think the best thing to do is supervise visitation, do it supervised. And then when Nina acts like she got some sense, first get the DNA, 
when the DNA test come back and it proves, if it proves that she's biologically related, then cool, do supervised and, you know, do it for a couple months or whatever. And once Nina shows that she can act right around a child and not tell him grown up things or things that he's too young to know, then we can move it to unsupervised visits, you know, gradually do things, do it the right way. Um, so anyway, her and Sonny start dancing or whatever because they see records out and, you know, he puts some music on his phone. She talking about, oh, I wish that we could have did this in Nixon Falls at the Tano and all this. See, that's the problem I have with them in this little relationship that they're trying to build or whatever they're trying to do. It's all based off of Nixon Falls when he was Mike. That's the biggest issue I have with this. It's all Nixon Falls. She keeps, when she sees Sonny, she does not see Sonny who he is or who he was she sees mike that's the problem that's delusion you know what i mean you can't see him as somebody else you got to see him for who he is sunny sunny corinthos that's who he is he's not mike no last name it's <laughs> not who he is and until she sees him for who he really is sunny corinthos my boss coffee and porter it ain't never gonna work it ain't never gonna work you gotta you know see him for who he really is you know stop the foolishness Thank God, you know, Curtis popped up when he did to end that little foolish dance. So anyway, moving on from that, um, Esme done dropped the pregnancy test out her bag. <laughs> Yo, this girl's manipulation is on top 10 list. I swear I love it. Um, this, she knows no bounds. I said there is no way in the world she pregnant. No, 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 no. There is no way. You cannot tell me this girl is pregnant. I think this is a tactic. I just feel like everything with Esme is a manipulative tactic. Everything comes out her mouth. She got Nicholas and Laura sitting here. Oh, Esme, come to dinner with us. Come to family dinner with us. See if you guys can work this out. I'm like, what? Just a minute ago, neither one of you trusted this girl. Didn't like her. Now, all of a sudden, y'all singing her praises. I, I, I hope that, you know, Nicholas and Laura are playing her, but I, for right now, I don't think, I don't see it. Because you got the girl bags packed. That's what don't make sense to me. Why would they encourage her to stay if it's all a part of some big plan when she's not only leaving Spencer, but she's moving out of your home? So why would you encourage her to stay or try to work things out when you're getting what you want, her away from Spencer? Laura initially felt like the girl was a bad influence. The, the bad influence is leaving. So why would you encourage the bad influence to stay if you're playing her? That wouldn't make sense because you're getting what you want. She's leaving. So you wouldn't even have to come up with a plan to get rid of her because she's doing it on her own. You know, so that's why I didn't think it was some sort of master plan. I didn't think so because I'm like, no, it wouldn't make sense. She, you're getting the results you want. She's going. But you're trying to talk her into staying. It don't make sense. Um. So, yeah, this, you know, she's she's doing she's pulling out all the stops at this point to hold on to this plan, because remember, she told Ryan, like, oh, I could do this. I could do that because Ryan still wants this plan to go forward. So I think that everything out her mouth is just a tactic at this point. Like she tried to turn it around on Spencer talking about, oh, what if you set up the video camera? Like, what if you recorded it and stuff like that? He talking about no idea. She every it was a tactic on her part because she was like, yeah. You know, you could have did it, but I'm not accusing you of doing it. I believe that you didn't do it, but you won't believe I didn't do it because he knows what you're capable of. You're a nutball. <laughs> you're a wackadoo. That's why he believes that you did it because he knows because she keeps trying to blame it on Trina. He knows Trina. He knows it's not her style. That ain't her M.O. She would never. And he knows that much about her. And that's what sticks in Esme's crawl. Even though she did all of this as part of a plan, a part of her, I think, really does like Spencer and she's jealous that he doesn't return those same feelings. Like, his feelings for Trina are way stronger than whatever feelings he got for her. That's that's evident. But I don't believe she's pregnant. I don't believe it at all. Mm -mm. Hopefully they take that pregnancy test. She could have, you know, because nowadays you can get fake pregnancy tests off Amazon now. <laughs> like, you get positive pregnancy tests off the internet now. So, I don't trust her. Like, she can sit right there and lie. And nobody would be none the wiser. I'm going to tell you like this. Victor's goon, Johan, that man need a raise. Johan is still a little salty at Victor because of the whole Drew thing. Him being almost thrown from that bridge. <laughs> Johan need a raise. And Victor's starting to get worried now because he knows that, you know, Laura's on to him at this point. 
um, Felicia and Ian are looking into things. So he's starting to get nervous. So he feel like he need a fall guy. When he said that, Johan was looking at him like, bruh, you are not about to use me as no scapegoat. I am not about to go to prison. I ain't about to do that. I said, Johan, you better pick up your check and run. Because <laughs> Victor is not above using him. So I'm like, bruh, go. He is not above using him as a patsy. So you better go. I wonder if it's not Johan that he plan on using as a fall guy. Or who does he plan on framing for all of this? Because he's going to have to do, you know, take suspicion away from him. Um. So anyway, Ava pu pull up or whatever. Um, Victor wasn't buying her mess at first either. He was like, what you want from me? Because <laughs> he knew she wanted something. And I'm glad Nicholas popped up, you know, and we're starting to get somewhere. Because Victor keeps saying something bad is happening, something bad is about to come to the family or whatever. Like, he keeps alluding to it, but he won't tell the family what's going on. You know, but you expect them to fall in line and do as you say or come together as a united front. But what are they going up against? You can't come together as a united front if you don't know. So Nicholas was basically imploring Victor to tell them, like, what is going on? Like, what is the problem? So Victor, I, I think he might start to tell them. But you know how Victor is. You know how any Cassidine is. They pretty much mix a little bit of the truth with a whole lot of lie. Because that's pretty much what they do. They dance around it. They're, not gonna, they're only going to tell you what they want you to know. Because Helena used to do that all the time. She used to tell... Stavro, Stefan, you know, Nicholas, she used to tell them stuff that she wanted them to know, but she never fully told them the big story, like the big picture. You know, she had told them bits and pieces, you know, the more confusing, the better. <laughs> that's pretty much how the Cassadines, that's how they do business. If it confuses you a little bit more, that's what they do. So anyway, Anna was stopping by at whatever Sam's place to tell them what happened or whatever with Luke, how they feel like Luke was murdered and stuff like that. But the guy committed suicide. So the WSB at this point is just taking over the case. And at this point, you really can't trust the WSB. I know Frisco is now running it, but you still can't trust them to actually get information because they're all about their image at this point. And Anna pretty much said that. She was like, the WSB taking over is not a good thing. Because Victor used to be the, the director of the WSB. So if there's something going down and he committed a murder or he did anything, they're going to try to sweep that under the rug. Because it's embarrassing to them that a former WSB leader is out here committing crimes and stuff like that. They don't want that as a headline. You know, it's bad for their agency. So, of course, they're going to try to sweep it. And, you know, Drew and them was telling her about what happened with Carly and Operation Demeter. Anna couldn't find nothing about it. Because either her access is restricted or they deleted the file or, you know, um, or it's basically considered U.S. intelligence. So either way, it's going to be hard to get any information on that operation. And Victor pretty much knew that. He knew that they weren't going to really find much on it. He knew that much. But I'm like, it got to be something like there got to be somebody they could talk to um, that would know something. Um. So Laura pretty much came over and Anna was filling her in about the loop situation and stuff like that. Anna feels, I mean, Laura pretty much feels like anybody who's investigating Victor, they're going to meet an untimely death, <laughs> pretty much, because that's what Victor's doing. He's cleaning house. Anybody who gets close to anything to finding out what he's up to, they're going to they're they're going to be no longer on this earth. They're not going to be long for this world. And she's figuring that out. You know, she she figured that much. So I think the best thing for them to do if they're going to continue to investigate this thing is try at the very least to be as quiet as they can about this. I don't know how quiet they can be, but they're going to have to be extremely quiet about the moves that they make. But the problem is that Victor has eyes and ears everywhere. Every move they make, somebody's on the phone calling Victor warning him. That's the problem. You know, it's hard trying to be two steps ahead of him when he's already five steps ahead of them. So I don't know where they're going to go next with this, but they better think of something. Think of it pretty damn quickly. Um, so anyway, that's pretty much the whole episode. Um, hit the comments. Let me know what you all thought about it. See you all later. Peace.